Hello, I'm Our Facts of Mars. On June 4th, 2012, I made a terrible mistake, one which I'm not going to repeat. But I thought I would own up to it. First little information. I got a... I got screwed over last November by a combination of a store manager in the pharmacy where I work, used to work and a single welfare mom who, because she went out and fornicated, even though she had a full-time job at the time, she got welfare, cash assistance, food stamps, got her apartment all paid for, WIC, and all these different government programs, all these welfare state programs. And she used the false excuse that she had to go tend to her baby, which turned out to be a lie, in order to entrap me and get me out of the store. It's a long story, but I just wanted to share the background because this applies to the welfare. So I got screwed over by this welfare bimbo and the store manager and the district manager. But I wanted to show that because it's relevant to the rest of the story. So I go into the welfare office on June 4th. Deciding, you know, hoping to get some cash assistance because the same company that screwed me out of the job screwed me out of uh, being able to get unemployment. So I can't get unemployment. And then I got another job. But the problem is they cut me back to about 16 hours a week if I'm lucky. Well, so I decided to go in the welfare office at any rate and try to get some help until I can get back on my feet. Big mistake going there. Here's what happened. I go in, I talk to the person there, the counselor, and I explain that I was in a really desperate situation, which I am, and... The instant I explained that I did have a job, but I was only maybe getting 16 hours a week if I'm lucky. That's if I'm lucky. Her eyes narrowed. It was like she was looking at a snake or something. It was like the expression was so strange I can't forget it. But we haggled things over and we talked about it. She told me that even if I could get a cash assistance, I would have to wait 45 days. I didn't have the right stubs, so I would actually have, have to wait a month on top of that 45 days, which wouldn't do me any good. Because I certainly wasn't going to be able to hang on that long. Her eyes narrowed, and she said even if I could get a cash assistance, that, in fact, it would be a loan leaning against my house. In other words, it would be a loan, not actual assistance. So... She managed to talk me into food stamps, which I never applied to, and you'll see the reason why in a minute. I never applied to the food stamps or the Medicare. In fact, I won't go anywhere near a welfare office now, and here's the reason. You see this card? I found this stuck to my mailbox. It turns out that I was turned into an investigation. Uh... The guy left this, I found it two days after I went into the welfare office. I'd always thought the welfare was a big scam. Essentially, they were taking the money of working people, especially people like myself, white males, single white males, and using it to buy votes. Desperate men can do desperate things, and I'm a desperate man, so I decided to go for help. Like I said... I was right all along about welfare. Because when they can give some bimbo all this money and assistance, and she's working full time, and they can't help out a veteran who is down on his luck and needs some help and asks for it, there's something horribly wrong. And the answer is it's just used to buy the votes of certain core constituency groups. We know which ones they are. You know, this is why the welfare has got to go. I'm going to explain how this works. 
They take your money and they redistribute it to these core constituency groups. And politicians can't go and give you money directly. They can't hand you a hundred dollars and say, here, vote for me. That's illegal. So what they do is they take your money, your working man money, mostly working man, and they give it to all these core groups and they want to keep on the welfare rolls and keep them voting. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. So, I found this card on my mailbox and I never did apply for the food stamps or the Medicare and now I most definitely will never ever go near a welfare office again. That doesn't matter how desperate. I'll, uh, I'm not going to say what I would do, but I'm, all I'm going to say is I won't go anywhere near one now. We need to get more charities. We need people going back to church and, you know, don't tithing and all that in order to take up the slack. And we need to end the welfare. Because it's disgusting that a person like myself has worked all their lives gets treated the way they treat us. And they treat us like slaves. That's essentially what we are. So, screw them. And screw the welfare. Welfare is a scam. It is immoral. So, end it. This is my whole thing. We need to vote every single one of these rascals out of office, and we need to need to end these entitlement programs. I don't really give a crap. You know, if they can't help help out somebody who's truly down on their luck, and yet they can shell out all this money to all these different programs to some bimbo who goes and gets herself knocked up, then something is horribly wrong. So, like I said, we need to end the welfare. I've owned up to my mistake. I made it. I went to the welfare office. Now I won't go anywhere near it. So, end it. Be done with it. And vote the rascals out who support it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. That's all I have to say.